okay so now in this video we will add a movement to our car so before doing that let's open up the player car game object and then inside the wheels as you can see we have this wheel collider so what we will do let me go inside the scene here okay and right here we have the wheel transforms and we have the wheel colliders in the wheel collider let me actually duplicate all of these ports and let me add this inside the wheel collider okay now let me rename all of them okay front left then front right back left back right okay that's it now let's open up all of these pores let's remove the wheel brake okay and also select four of them remove the mesh filter mesh renderer as well okay now if you notice this is basically now an empty game object in position with the wheels okay that's why i have duplicated them and then do all of these steps now from the for the front wheel let's add a wheel collider okay and you can turn on the gizmos to see it as you can see we can't see the wheel collider and the reason behind this is that first of all on the player car you will need to add a rigid body okay you need to add a rigid body to the car or else the wheel collider will not work okay so first of all add a rigid body to the main uh, player car game object okay and change its mass to 1000 and then leave all of the things as default but actually we will change this collision to continuous dynamic okay and now if we add the wheel collider now as you can see we have the wheel collider right here leave the mass of it as 20 change its radius to 0.23 and change the wheel damping to 0.25 if you have different value then you can change it to 0.25 and then the suspension distance will be 0.1 okay after that the force a point distance will be 0 and right here change the spring to 1 lakh so we do not 10,000 10, lakh okay after that change the temper to 2000 and then you can leave all of the other things as default okay now what we will do is to simply click on this then copy component and select all of the other wheels click there and then click on this paste component as new Okay, so now we have wheel colliders on the other things as well. Okay, after adding the wheel colliders, let's add a box collider to our car as well. So right here on the player car, add a box collider. Okay, and guys, if you didn't see the wheel collider, then try turning on the gizmos, okay, like that. Now let me just turn it off. Let's click on the car. Now let's edit the collider and let me move this up to that point. Let's move it right there. Move this there. And let's move it that position. Okay, then at the top, let's move it there. Let's move this here. So now we have the collider added on the week. Let's try play the game. 
okay as you can see we have the car right here and if we move the car up there okay now let's try play the game you can now see the suspension in the car it just bounce okay let me remove that and actually let's move it a little bit more up there okay and now let's play the game you will notice that now our car have suspension okay so basically our vehicle is fully loaded now and the next thing is to add a script to this vehicle and actually you can say that we will make an engine for this vehicle in the next video and then our car will move forward backward and left and right